should put a power mod sticker on this. What the heck? Is there no stickers on there? Shameful, boys. I wasn't recording with it. You weren't recording at all? Is it recording now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I know, I gotta put stickers on my helmet too. The five horsepower for stickers. Thirty centimeters of snow this weekend. Sounds oh. good. Sound good? Yeah. She's uh Pegging at 8,100, just like, I mean, bang on where it should be clutch-wise. There you go. Which is kind of funny because all the clutching is set up for the 700. Yeah. You know, like it's the team clutch and the primary is off. It's bang on. What's with your one headlight there? I see you only got one headlight. Oh, yeah, check this out, boys and girls. So I call that the one headlight mod. We've changed things up a little bit. I did a headlight delete. But then I figured, you know, if I'm uh, not running that extra current to the battery, or to the uh, sled, maybe if I turn the handlebar warmers on, it might melt them. It happened on my ZX. So I took Keeley's spare headlight, cut it in half, gooped it up with some RTV <laughs> right there, and I'm running the current through there. But I wanted to keep the snow bungee mod, right? <laughs> That's my main impetus for not putting the whole headlight in, because I wanted that right there. Now check this out, what I did over here. I did the kill switch delete. Oh yeah, I know a lot of guys said, why don't you buy the 440 uh, throttle housing? It's a like a bolt on either side. But I had this one, I didn't want to bother. So I got rid of that. And I hooked up a dimmer switch off in a LAN. And that's my kill switch. Yeah, my, those throttle blocks are like 300 bucks. So. Yeah, they're ridiculous. And this, you know, ask Keely, will tell you, like it's packed full of snow. And then, yeah, mine's acting up already. So. Yeah, so anyway, ditch that thing. And I got this whole thing. It's a three wire switch. I just turned it into two wires and I don't even click it right off I only ever just sort of touch it until the sled drops nice that's it my ski my uh, my uh, Fox bolt pressure too low it's dipping down way too much yeah a little rolls over easy yeah a little too easy you see it get a little but we don't care too much about that running good lots of snow yeah 30 centimeters hopefully over the weekend oh. We're going to do a trip up to Lou's camp on, uh, in a couple days with all this snow. Hopefully we'll have three feet of snow up there. It would be nice to have at least, you know, if we had two, two and a half feet, it would be just awesome because there's no, nobody goes up there. Trail's not broken. It'll be Brap City. Still got that steam coming off there, right? Check that out. There's uh, Kai on the VK, ripping it up, low gear. Oh, this snow is awesome. Ripping it out. Just ripping it. <laughs> <laughs> we 
they think you can turn that. <laughs> Michelle has a hard time turning it. She's afraid to go out. Yeah, well, I said stay away from yeah. the slush over there. Yeah, I'll go on. With What are you guys doing down here? Holy smokes, what are you guys selling ice over here? Yep. Ready? Uh, oh, ready? Oh my goodness. Check it out. Yeah, you hear it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just heard no. It's a big rock. You thinking that's it there, Keely? What's going on? Is just that the brake calipers just jingling around? Oh, the, uh, yeah, that's probably uh, it. But I'm looking at that bearing on there. Yeah, it's just a, I don't know, there must be, you'd think there'd be a retainer on that, but it's got a sort of free flow, right? Well, yeah, but it can't go anywhere. The brake's holding it, right? They maybe put that RTV on there to, loop, to keep it quiet. Yeah. Quieter. So that's the 540 uh, motor out of the. Monster, land. monster land. Yeah. They, they just say it's a bit of a beast in there. Really go, if you want to really go, just get the flat ground with no bumps. Because yeah. I'm scared of just... Then you'll really put the hammer down. Yeah. Right. Well, you yeah. need to learn on the rough stuff so you that's know how right. to control it, bud. Yeah, that's right. Well, if you learn uh, going fast on flat stuff, anybody can do that. That's right. Yeah. You got to learn how to ride technically. Well, I can with the land, but not with this big wide thing. Got a 440 liquid out of a uh, Skidoo RS coming in for the land. It's going to be ridiculous. Add a bit of weight with some liquid and a cooler, I guess. Yeah, but a lot of power on there. A lot of power. Power. Over 100 horsepower, let's hope. What, how much was this, do you think, ported and stuff? Ah, uh, 60 probably. 60? Yeah. Probably 50. Double the power then? Yeah, yeah it, it should be pretty darn good. As soon as the snow's 